Welcome to Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. So today we're going to talk about how to use the Mars Coat King. This is a 20 blade Mars Coat King right here. This is used to take undercoat out. It's a form of stripping, but it's not, uh, you're not carding with it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to use this properly um, today. Uh, this is a, basically a video for anybody with a pet. Maybe you're a, a groomer as well. I'm going to send this off to some of my um, clients that I do dog grooming for just to show them how to use it. Because when I have the dog just once every two months, six to eight weeks, I really don't get enough out when it's shedding season. So I'm going to show you how to use this properly to help me uh, be able to keep their coat in good condition. And then I can use my thinners or I can do more stripping, or I can use my stripping knife or my carter, and I can get the rest of the hair out that I need it, need to get out. So this is for, I use this on golden retrievers, setters, span, any type of spaniel. Um, yeah, I've even used it on Australian shepherds. I've used it on um, anything like that. So we're gonna show you how to use this properly. We're gonna just get started, but this is our Mars Coking. There'll be a link in the description from our Amazon Associates um, shop where you can buy this as well if you want to get it so the basically the first thing you're going to do as you can see it's double-sided so these little claws here this is what's going to take the hair out okay so you always this is the side that goes down and it's a smooth pulling motion okay so first i'm going to brush cole out because i want his hair to not have any knots in the back and i want it to be in the right direction to be able to um, remove the hair so we're going to get started with that so just to begin, I'm going to say that you can do any of this type of stripping on the, you can have the dog on the floor, sit, you can be sitting and they can be standing, you can be standing and do it, or you can do it on a table like I'm doing it. I'm just going to show you this just because it's the easiest for Cole and I to show you. I may give you a quick ember having hers done on the floor, um, but this is how I do it um, with my grooming clients. However, I do do mine in between grooming time. Sometimes I'll just do it upstairs. I'll do it even outside and then the hair can go flying. So I'm going to take my slicker here. You could use your comb as well. And you want to make the hair, it's a little more difficult with that, but you want to make your hair down the neck, down the back to the tail. That's the straight line right there. Maybe one or two of these slicker brushes across. So down, and you go down the neck on both sides, down the sides here. I want to brush, just make sure it's nice and smooth. See, I'm already getting some of the coat out. So if you had a slicker, this is one really good way. It takes whatever's just sitting loose. I'm gonna do both sides. There, and now he's ready for me to use a stripping knife. So in that same motion, I'm going to strip him. So I'm gonna go down his back, down his neck, into his shoulder here on both sides, and I'm gonna take it right to about here on, on his sides. I'm even gonna do the bum and his leg here. I'm gonna do down the side of his leg. So you can hold this skin taut. You can hold his leg. It's best just to hold his leg so you can see. Can't see the bottom here, but I'll try to back it up. Maybe you can see a little bit more if I, oh, there you can see a bit more. But see, I've already got some out. That's just on his leg. It's a soft, you'll feel it's a soft fur. Shouldn't be anything coarse because that's the top coat, but this is all his undercoat. So I'm gonna start on his neck here and go down his neck, into his shoulder a little bit, down his leg. I'm going to do this for, let's say, five seconds I've done it. I'm going to see how much I've got. So I've got quite a bit. I'm going to remove it because it gets full and then it doesn't take anymore. So every couple seconds, you're going to remove it. I'm going to do his neck again into his shoulders here. This time, just kind of splaying out to the side here. I'm going to check it again. Look, I've got quite a lot. So now I'm going to move down his sides here. Getting in his side. Get right in this groove here. It's hard to get in right there. He's such a good boy. And again, he's full. Cole and Amber are shedding like crazy and I haven't stripped them yet this year. I'm gonna go down. I'm not gonna take it into the long fur, but I'm gonna take it right up to where it meets. It's just nice and tight there. So there's another big poof. I'm gonna go down his back. I'm gonna hold Cole under his stomach just to give me extra support when I'm stripping here. It shouldn't be sticking and hard to come out. If it's sticking, you maybe need to comb some of the loose undercoat out first or brush it. Um, it shouldn't hurt them. Cole's not being hurt here. If it's a big tug and it's hurt, then it's not working properly. Some people, they will take it by their necks and they'll pull here. I do a bit, but Cole's pretty, pretty good. If I want to get through his shoulders maybe a bit more, I might do that there. 
This is done best on a on a on a clean dog, but if you, and if you don't have one, it's still fine to do it. Um, you could work at it at times. You maybe only want to work for five minutes at a time, and then you come back another day and you do another side, or you do the whole body, but you just give it once one little go over, where you're just getting out like a handful of hair. I'm gonna to move to the rear here. I'll go around. So you can even do it on, I mean, his tail doesn't really need it a lot, but it needs it right at the base there. So you're gonna get it. I'm gonna take some off his tail because I know it's shedding. You get right in through here. A lot of dogs when they come, they're super thick here on their bums. He's not shedding as much. So I didn't get a lot there. It got stuck a bit. So that part I know has got a bit in there. go and get both sides right here I'm probably not going to go under here this I'm going to use my scissors for it I'm going to take it right here I'm going to go into this side his opposite side now down his leg again yeah it's just a downward motion straight along with the hair not at any angles just straight down the same on his back so that was a good left same on his back here it's a right across his fur Maybe not his whole back at the whole time as you saw it got a bit stuck there. So I do half and half. I'll do his rear end here and then I'll go back up and do his neck. Do down his leg again. Down his other side here. Good boy. Got another big skin cleaning, clearing my rake. I have to clear it because if you don't, it won't work anymore. It won't grab. Definitely tugs at their fur, but it's not hurting him. Cole has one big black leg that gets hairy, so sometimes I even go down his front leg, not the back side. Just, I'll show you on the white leg here, just in here. It's extra furry on his black leg, so I'll take it even down there a bit. That one doesn't need it, though. Put the other side of your neck here. Good oh boy. That is basically what you need with your cooking. I would brush it first, then I would take your rake and I would start at the neck and work my way down. I would do neck to shoulders, back, sides, back legs. You can do wherever. If you think there's somewhere you could just see by looking at them that they're super thick. Cole's not super thick, he's just shedding. Cause he gets groomed every six to eight weeks, sometimes even sooner. Um, so he's not super duper thick. He's been groomed this winter. If I left him all winter, it would be a different matter. Cole is also not neutered, so his coat doesn't get as thick. If you're trying to compare them to your neutered males, they all coats of any neutered or spayed animals, they get super thick. They get more of a fuzzy texture. This will still work if you've never shaved them. If you've shaved their coats, it's really hard to get back a neutered or spayed dog. Not that it's, you can't, but it's much harder. And you'd have to work at it hard with your groomer um, by taking it home and stripping it and keeping its coat maybe conditioned more and working at things like that to uh, be able to get back to its regular con condition, but still their texture is different. Now I do do this on lots of neutered and spayed um, dogs and it's fine, but their coats have never been um, shaved. And the ones that I had one I had to give up on um, just because it was too hairy. It was so hairy, I couldn't strip it enough and it was just out of control. Um, and I have a new one that I'm trying and his coat is much flatter and it may be able to be saved. We'll have to wait. Um, I just stripped him this last time before uh, another time before I'd shaved him, but uh, we'll see in the next, in another eight weeks, how it's going then. If it's getting too fuzzy and too thick, or if we can just keep up um, with the stripping and hopefully if she does it at home too, it'll make it much easier and we won't have to shave it again. Yeah. Cause it's much nicer not to have to shave your nice coats off. That's for sure. So there's cool. I'm going to strip him a teeny bit more and then I'll show you the end result. But so far, this is the amount of fur I've gotten out. It's quite a lot of fur. It's a good, I'm squishing it. So I opened it up. There we go. That's all his nice fur. His fur wasn't flying today. Ember may be on the other hand flying. Her, you just touch and her coat falls out. But this is his big, this is only whatever, how many minutes this was. A few minutes, eight minutes. All right, I'll be back. Okay, here is the finished product of Cole. See that Cole? Look at his glistening, gleaming coat. So what I would do now is I would bathe him, if I hadn't already, which I haven't, he needs a bath. 
Um, and then I would towel him, put my towel on where I pin under the stomach and I pin at his chest. And it would help dry it all nice and flat. And it would make it really shiny and glistening. But it, he looks pretty good. Give him a little brush up. This is all his hair here. I'll try to aim the camera down. That he got out of him right here, this big pile. It's quite a lot of undercoat. This is a good amount. Sometimes it's double or triple this. Or less. But he's been stripped a little while ago. Probably at his last haircut, which was at Easter. Which so middle of... April or beginning to middle of April. So it's probably has just been a month. So this is still quite a lot for, I definitely did strip him a month ago and just, he wasn't shedding enough. Now he's been shedding. So anyways, try out the Mars Coke King. If you haven't, this is great instructions on how to use it. I'll give you a quick little view overview of Ember uh, before and after of hers, um, just so you can compare the different coat styles. So I'm going to bring Ember on the table now. So here's Ember on the table. You can see um, she's actually quite wet. We were out, it's raining today here in Ottawa, Canada. And we were out dropping the children at school and had a teeny little walk in the rain because it's not so much fun to walk in the rain as when you're a dog. So we did a little bit of that already this morning. She's a little bit fuzzy. She desperately needs her coat. She has a different consistency than coat Cole. She's quite close to him. She has what I would call a black coat on a liver dog. Um, she's got the short bristled fur and it's very flat there's no curls usually liver coats are very curly and blacks are straight but ember has a liver coat that's like a black coat so i'm going to do the same thing to her i'm going to brush her all through then i'm going to strip her down here down into her bum here into her tail under here maybe a little bit and we're going to get her all looking beautiful and um nicely nice and shiny again they both definitely need haircuts um they'll be getting those in the next week or two but I'm just going to strip now and then I will strip again then. Um, to, and I'm sure I'll get more hair out then as well. So I will show you in a few minutes. Ember's the finished product. just thought I'd show you. I brushed Ember out. I thought I'd show you a quick me stripping Ember. Ember, his hair is just coming out like crazy. Way more than Cole's. I'm right, just giving her a quick strip down her sides here. And look how much hair I've already gotten. She's all fluffing out. She's needed a strip for a while. So sometimes I don't move to the other side. I can kind of just move my arm around to do both sides here. I've got her neck and her shoulder. I'm definitely gonna have to clean the comb now because look, it's so fur, full of fur. It's not gonna come and nothing more is gonna come out. I'm gonna go down her side here into this little hard to get here, this little nook where their stomachs go in, down her back. And I'm full again. I'm gonna take that out. Hi, Cole. She's got a bit of a fuzzy bum here too. I'm gonna get down there down her leg. I'm gonna have to clean it out again. All right, I'm gonna finish her up and I'll show you the finished product. So I'm just doing my last few um, strokes here of stripping Ember. I'm gonna stop just cause I wanna leave her with some fur. It keeps coming out. Um, she definitely is a smaller dog than Cole. So there's not gonna be as much hair and not as hairy as Cole on the table, but certainly coming out. I just wanted to mention um, but you would never do this on a wet coat. It's only meant for dry coat. Ember is wet, but only her legs and under her furnishings where I'm not doing any stripping on. Uh, so that's fine. She wore a coat out in the rain today, so her back is completely dry. Uh, yeah, but dirty or clean, um, it, when you do bathe them, a lot of the fur releases itself, so you can get a lot more out then. So it is sometimes good to do that. But if you're just trying to help your groomer out, then just, you know, don't worry about the bath and just do this every couple of weeks. You can do it once a week you can, when they're shedding. You can do it once a month, every two weeks. I would not do it every day. There's no need to do it every day. You can even just do it the week or two before your grooming appointment. Um, then, or even the week before, then do it every day. Or, or, or do it the week, you know, twice the week before, two weeks before, and then twice the week before of your grooming appointment. Um, and then bring them in. If you're noticing that not a lot of hair is coming out, then you don't need to do it. If a ton of hair is coming out, then do more of it. Um, so you just, so your best guess, best estimate of what you want to do, but there is Ember and her finished product and her amount of hair here. She still has quite a lot of hair here. It's a good portion of Ember hair. Yep. You can sniff it, hun. See, it's all the really soft cottony hair. That's what you're bringing out. You should never be having hard, crispy back hair. Um, and you can see as well, if you zoom in, um, Ember's coat is looking glossier and smoother already. It kind of had a fuzzy texture before just because she had so much loose fur. She definitely needs a trim. These dogs will be getting a trim. They're hoping to go to a dog show in a couple of weeks. So then they will have their hair cut right before that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching Ember and Cole's English Springer Spaniel Family Channel. 
and we'll be back with some more videos. I'll maybe do a very similar one, but brushing the dogs um, kind of the way I do them when I treat them as pets, not as my not as going to the groomer and being on the grooming table. We do do brushing and stripping upstairs on the floor. They let me do toenails. They stand or they lie on their backs. Um, and I'll show you all of those sort of things. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Take care. Bye. Oh, I was going to show you really quickly the comparison of the two dogs. Okay, so this is Cole's fur and this is Ember. So Cole, I definitely did get more out of. His is a little denser, but this is the two fur. Anyways, thanks so much. Bye.